Hello everyone, welcome to the North and Artist Conversation. My name is Mark Kelly, I am your host, your guide on this uh, amazing journey of uh, creative discovery, if you like. Um, it's, been a, it's been an interesting, uh, interesting week. Um, we are currently filming this on Easter Monday. Uh, for those of you that celebrate Easter, thank you very much. And uh, for those of you that enjoy Easter eggs, thank you very much. Um, we do reference that a little bit in the podcast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, yes. Um, Cadbury Caramel. I'll say that. Just drop it there. Let you find it out in the podcast because it is hilarious. I'm going to throw to my camera now. Um, a Gabriella Weber hyphen Oswald um, or Weber. Up to, by her own admission, she says it just depends on if she's feeling lazy or not. Um, she was our guest um, today from Switzerland. Man, super cool. What a I, I tell producer Andrew, she was a fun person to sit down and talk with. A lot of energy, super happy. We asked some good questions. I say we, I mean me. Um there were some good questions asked. She was just, she was a, a a a really lovely lady. That's the easiest way I can sum it up. She was she was lovely. She was super cool and you know, by her own admission, English wasn't her first language, but you you know, you really couldn't tell. She had everything covered. She was super cool. It's interesting to hear how she went from, you know, working with, I guess, Play-Doh, like a lot of kids do, um, through to kind of abandoning creativity in terms of studying commerce and then moving into HR, doing a little bit along the way, moving into, you know what, how about I do this? How about, instead of me telling you what you're about to watch or listen to, I'll let you just sit down and get into it. So, let's sit down and have a conversation with Gabriella Weber Oswald. English is not my mother language, so no. sometimes it's a bit tricky, tricky if, if yes. you search for a word or something and yeah. it doesn't come out, yep. you know. Sometimes it doesn't come out the way you want. Yeah. Exactly. As you said, sometimes you make up words. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so does my son. <laughs> Sean, I love you. <laughs> sometimes he makes up words. He's good like that. Well, uh, Gabriella, mm-hmm. thank you very much for joining us yeah, on no the uh, North and Artists Conversation. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a real treat for us. Um, one of the main reasons that we obviously only met quite recently, mm-hmm. uh, we met at Artbeat, which was, was it three weeks ago, yeah. four, five weeks ago now. It feels yeah. like time has just gone by so fast. Yeah, I never can charge time, you know. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> but so we yeah, we yeah. met there, and mm-hmm. um, you were at mm-hmm. the Rayburn mm-hmm. House mm-hmm. exhibit. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. obviously, we've had Wendy Cunliffe on mm-hmm. before, mm-hmm. and we, we had Rod on. Mm-hmm. Rod was on last week. Last well, week. Last yeah, week, yeah. but it'll be a couple of weeks by the mm-hmm. time this one comes out. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then here mm-hmm. you are, too. Mm-hmm. So we're very lucky to have another person who works with clay. Yeah. yeah. Do you class yourself as a potter? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Clay is my medium. Right. Yeah. And, po- and and pottery or the or the formation and shaping of the clay yeah um, just hand building hand building. i'm not a wheel thrower like rod is you know it's, now that was interesting yeah. learning what yeah. the hell what mm-hmm. what the term mm-hmm. throwing meant <laughs> yeah because he was yeah, saying yeah. it all throughout the podcast and i was like what the hell are you yeah. mean by throwing and he, yeah, I was like, yeah. it's throwing it's like as will you throw clay at the wheel he goes well <laughs> No, it's like where you throw things away. He goes sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So you're no. you're not really a uh, um, a person that mm. sort of does wheel pottery. No, no. I, no, I'm not a very exact person. Okay. So um, it never, yeah, gets very exact. You know. So um, I'm more freestyle. Building clay and whatever, whatever, wherever yeah. your, your hands mm-hmm. take yeah, you. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, now mm-hmm. obviously, as you sort of said at the start, English mm-hmm. isn't your mother language. Mm-hmm. So, Gabriella, <laughs> where are you from? I'm from Switzerland. 
originally. Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. Great banking there, I've heard. <laughs> 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 Producer Andrew's trying not to laugh. <laughs> and excellent we, chocolate. We, we don't trust them for years, you know. We knew that's coming. You know? Of course. No. Uh, so yeah, no. um, you're you're from Switzerland, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. W- did were you were you there for the majority of your life? Did they moved to New Zealand, or sort of yeah. talk to me a little bit about mm-hmm. the the background of yeah. the time in Switzerland? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was born in the Italian part of Switzerland. Switzerland has different parts. Really? Yeah, we have uh, Italian part. Yes. Then we have a French part. Okay. And a little bit another language as well, Romance. This very very small region they speak Romance. Romance. Okay. A very old language. Right. And then we have the German part. Oh right. So four okay. different culture actually in in that small space because it's not a big country, no, is it? Like it's, geographically, it's quite small. Uh, no, it, you can think about half of uh, Northland. Wow! And um, yeah, we have nine million inhabitants in that small space. Yeah. So yeah. Holy cow! <laughs> yeah, it's crowded. Okay, mm-hmm. so you you do your schooling there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I grew up just in a normal family, Swiss okay. middle class family. Nothing, right. nothing really. We had a real good childhood. Okay. Mm-hmm. When did you? Because obviously, is pottery sort of the well? Is it mm-hmm. pottery? Yes, it's pottery. Uh, yeah. Is pottery mm-hmm. sort of the main creative expression that you've always had, or did you have other ones mm-hmm. along the way? Um, yeah, I experimented with a lot of things like okay. uh, sewing or painting. Yeah, I, I just tried a lot of things out because I was quite crea- creative already. Excellent. Which was going to be my mm-hmm. next question. Yeah. When did you first discover mm-hmm. your creativity and what was it? Mm-hmm. I think early on as a kid already, I, I loved paints and yeah. painting and my grandparents were also artistic oh really what were they so um my grandfather did work with wood okay and my yes. my grandmother was painting and um sewing and everything a bit also very creative wow yeah okay so your mm-hmm. first love mm-hmm. was mm. uh create creativity your, fir- your first creativity um, playing with Stowe, <laughs> I say. Oh, like play those. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, that was the okay. first. So, yeah, my grandmother had a, a set there. So I, I just started Wow. doing things with that. Okay. And then you sort of... Mm-hmm. Now, how old mm-hmm. were you at that point? Oh, very young. Maybe seven or... Okay. Yeah. So we're at school. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. is the schooling system like in mm-hmm. Switzerland? Yeah, I think it's different to here. We had just had a primary school. Yes. Then you you go to the secondary school. Okay, so no That's intermediate. Just, uh, I don't know really what is what that is, and and yeah, just you go to school until you are sixteen. Oh, 16. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then right. you you just do an apprenticeship or you study you or, or you do the pre-study thing. I don't know if that's college here or high school or uh pre ooh. You know before you go to study that, at the oh, university. Okay, yep. That that would be yeah. college high school. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I left uh, for an apprenticeship. Really? <laughs> so, what did you yeah. go do? I'm curious to know. What did you go do? Uh, just commerce. My I wanted to be a graphic designer, but my okay, parents yes. thought uh, it's nowadays there wasn't really um, like a job you do for money or it's you know they just right. advised me not. So it was uh, get an education. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Have. Have a career commercial Com- in the commercial. Yeah, but, but you have that creativity in the background. Um, not really. No, <laughs> during working now. Okay, no, it was all re- all uh, apart from working actually. Okay. Yeah. What type of commerce did you study? Mm, just general, you know, bookkeeping things uh, like uh, that. Accounting and economics. Accounting. Okay. Yeah. 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 And uh, I um, just was very interested in the human resources when I 
went all to the different parts. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the human resource um, was the most interesting to work with people. Yeah. So I got stuck there and then we I did more education there. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So human resources, yeah, that's yeah. like staff recruitment, yeah, staff yeah, management yeah. type yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Yeah. That's just main thing, you know, okay. recruiting people and um, ad- administration of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and caring and for the people who work there already. Right. Know? Yeah. <laughs> did you sort of stick with one company or did you float I did around? different ones. Different yeah, companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, while you're doing, like, so you've finished your school, mm-hmm. you've sort of put your creativity on hold a little bit Mm -hmm. and then you go off into the world of commerce Mm -hmm. then go into the world of hr Mm -hmm. when did creativity come back Hmm. because obviously that's why you're here right yeah 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 yeah. you're here um it it came back between or or just once i had an an exhibition I always followed um, educations next to my work. Okay, yes. You know, like I did courses, I did workshops. Right, okay. Yeah, so I was always um, creative. You're you're learning and creating. But but next to my work. Right, okay. So it was like work first, creativity second, third, hobby. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) Okay, so Mm -hmm. are you doing this the whole way through your working career or did you just take Mm -hmm. it or was it just like a block of time Mm -hmm. where you weren't creative at Mm -hmm. all? Yeah, maybe when I did uh, um, also the education as a Natura Pass next to my work. Yes. So I had no time then to okay. be creative, uh, um, but um, otherwise. An Arturo? Natura Pass, like, um, like um, the, um, you know, like a natural healer. Oh, oh hang on. Sorry about that. a technical that. malfunction. <laughs> malfunction. That's the first one on the podcast, uh, producer I, I, Andrew. I, I didn't touch it the, or not. The microphone clip just fell out. Oh. It's a. Uh, I don't think it's a jiggle jiggle. <laughs> okay. okay. Wow, that's great. All right. Mm-hmm. So you went so, and studied. Mm-hmm. Um, um, like a natural healer with um, a naturopath. You know, naturopath, exactly. Right. See, see, yes, that's yes. my pronunciation. There we go. A naturopath. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, yeah. using a lot of holistic. Mm-hmm. Um, natural remedies, yeah, home remedies, yeah, yeah, like um, yeah, yeah. having trouble sleeping, yeah. put some lavender yeah. under your pillow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was foraging all the, oh, the okay. forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love the, <laughs> you do not, like um, mixing up things and, and medication. Yeah. And I love the whole business with wow. uh, doing things up. and. Okay. So yeah. essentially mm-hmm. that became, mm-hmm. you you substituted creativity mm-hmm. for that maybe maybe yeah yeah wow. yeah because yeah, yeah. you're still mm-hmm. creating right you're mm-hmm. making these yeah. different remedies mm-hmm. to help mm-hmm. people with their mm-hmm. their ailments yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, i was working i was working with another um uh, uh, natura path and we did um invent homopathic remedies together right. yes so we were um looking for new new ones yep and did that so you're the always process of, of um, doing yeah. the new medications. Uh, right. Kind of, yeah. So yeah. you're essentially taking mm-hmm. flowers and herbs mm-hmm. and minerals mm-hmm. and you're combining mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. to create something new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. might mm-hmm. be used for a particular. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's why you are uh, uh, issue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Skin disorder or you know yeah. anything. You know, mm-hmm. Someone that has migraines. Anything <laughs> along those lines. Yeah. Or who is uh, special for that that person? Yeah. For that person, yeah, yeah. Very cool! Mm-hmm. Wow, mm-hmm. that's so so. Yeah. I mean, human resources mm-hmm. and working with herbs, mm-hmm. very different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's very yeah, cool, yeah, though. Yeah, we've yeah, never yeah. had. Mm-hmm. Hey, producer Andrew, I don't know if we've had a naturopath on here before, have we? I'm getting yeah. the sh- mm-hmm. getting the shake of the head. Getting the mm-hmm. shake of the head, mm-hmm. that's a no, so that's very cool. <laughs> Thank you. Very, do you yeah. still do any of that sort of stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm very happy that I really um, did that yeah. education because it helps me through all my life. Wow. You know, to find medications or or I know the anatomy and I know what's going on. Yeah. You know, I can read medical um, um, documents from the doctor. Or so it would be safe to say you're, you, you lead a pretty healthy lifestyle. Yeah. Not a lot yeah, of yeah, cheeseburgers not. or pies, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I try. I try not. <laughs> Not but, all the time. Uh, I have a weakness for this new chocolate they invent, you know, this um, white chocolate with caramel flavor. Stop it! Cadbury oh. caramel milk! And then it's I say, so good. A, every every after dinner, I say, only one one little thing I take, and then I take a whole row, you know. Really? Stop. Oh, that's classic. I, oh. I'm a little bit different. Yeah. I go, only one block. <laughs> <laughs> only one <laughs> block. <laughs> Producer Edge was trying not to laugh. Only one block tonight, yeah. Mark. Aww. We can't afford any more. I, oh. I blame them because it's a new a new yeah. thing, you know. I know. It's <sighs> just, oh, so good. So good. I know. And, and I saw mm. caramel Easter eggs this year. Oh. oh. I know. It broke my heart. Didn't oh, get yeah. one. My son oh. wanted to buy one for me and I yeah. said, no, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, dad, <laughs> no. dad's okay. <laughs> dad's okay. Okay. Don't need the diabetes. <laughs> yeah, no. I'll eat my other block later on tonight. <laughs> Can't have two blocks. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Oh, no. So with with the naturopath work mm-hmm. that you were doing, and yeah. then HR, yeah. when did you sort of transition back into pottery and painting mm-hmm. and and writing? When did you sort of move back into that segment? Actually, just when I arrived here. Really? Yeah. Or, or yeah, I did always. But really, seriously, I started here, I have to say. Yeah. When with, we moved to New pottery, Zealand? I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how long have you uh-huh. been in New Zealand for then? Uh, on and off. People always ask how long am I here for, but we always went back and forth and back oh, and so forth. Oh, so you live here and, a bit. Yeah, yeah okay, and okay. until we, we really um, got here about 15 years ago. Oh, right. And then because I thought, oh, it's schizophrenic life, you know, six months here, six months there. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm nowhere at home. You well, know, yeah, you don't have any stable... I don't stable, have a base, you no, know. No, no base. And, and then you always say, oh, I go in six months, and then you don't start in a club or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was a bit um, not a good life for me. I had to, to stay here, yeah. and that's my my home now. What made you pick to stay here? Because, I mean, mm-hmm. Switzerland's yeah, a beautiful yeah. country. Mm-hmm. The Alps are amazing. Mm-hmm, the, the, mm-hmm, some of the photos mm-hmm, that people mm-hmm. see and the impressions they mm-hmm, have. Mm-hmm. Switzerland is a gorgeous mm-hmm. country. Yeah. Probably cold. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the reasons. <laughs> um, Northland's a bit warmer. I wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't really say that much about our summer for 2023 uh, yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah, we don't. But what, <laughs> but what made you pick Northland over yeah. Switzerland? Very curious to know. Um, yeah, because we have we have seen that we, we can have a different lifestyle here. Right, okay. You know, in Switzerland, you have to, to work hard for your life. Yeah. So it's not possible you don't work, you know. And right. So okay. or, or you don't have uh, like you don't you w- wouldn't be able to have so much land um, in Switzerland. Oh, yeah, of course, you know, it's a small that's, country, that's right? So yeah. small, uh, and then you know we, we couldn't have only a house and a little garden and yeah. And we would work the whole life for that house. To, sure. You okay. know, and we thought, yeah. no, it can't be that that. Yeah, it's much more better here you know and the people yeah. were so friendly then and thank you very much yeah I, we, we just loved new zealand you know okay well i mean yeah. that does make sense i mean mm-hmm. i think as as kiwis mm-hmm. we kind of look at us mm-hmm. and go well isn't this how it is mm-hmm. um but then when we meet people from mm-hmm. other countries yeah. they go actually you guys are quite lucky oh yeah in a lot yeah, of ways yeah, 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 so yeah, i'm yeah, guessing yeah, you yeah. have mm-hmm. like quite a bit of land yeah we have uh, four hectares four hectares yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> and our cultivated garden we have is about 5,000 square meters. Oh, uh, cultivated, cultivated garden? Cultivated garden. So what are, we, what are we growing in the garden at the moment? Um, yeah, we're growing, we have fruit trees. Yes. 
uh, a bit veggies. A few veg. Veg. And yeah. the main thing is subtropicals and palms. And, oh, very uh, nice. Yeah, we, have a, we are a bit both, uh, we are a plant collectors a little bit. Okay, yep. <laughs> so different. Yep. Producer Andrew knows someone else who is a plant collector yeah, as well. Yeah, sure. <laughs> himself. <laughs> that's partner. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think that's an addiction. It can be an addiction to get pa- plants. Yes. Yeah, I think yeah. someone would agree that that is definitely a bit of an addiction. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so. Okay, so, so you sort of decided mm-hmm. that New Zealand was going to be your home base mm-hmm. 15 mm-hmm. years ago. Yeah, okay. yeah, about. Yeah, about. when we built a, a garage and a studio attached to the garage. Okay. Yeah. And then that's mm-hmm. where you mm-hmm. get back into pottery. Is that right? Or, or does that take a no, little bit of time? No, that's actually, um, I didn't start with pottery before. It's really? my, my, yeah, we, we had um, like Wendy Kunliff did. Um, yes. My friend, the other Wendy, flax weaving Wendy said, oh, we have, a, you know, they do a, a beginner course. Okay. Okay. So we, we went yep. and I was totally, totally into it. The flax the, weaving? No, no, the, the clay. Oh, the clay. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, okay. My friend Wendy, she's also, she does, does also um, pottery next to her flax weaving. Oh, she's a right. wonderful flax okay. weaver. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and mm-hmm. then so once mm-hmm. you got in front mm-hmm. of clay again, uh, yeah, yeah, you were yeah, like, this yeah, is yeah. Play-Doh, but better. <laughs> yeah, much better. <laughs> much better than Play-Doh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and you've been very mm-hmm. gracious enough to bring mm-hmm. some pieces mm-hmm. in, which is what we love. Mm-hmm. We love. Um, and it's super cool. Now, we've got yeah, some yeah. different representations here. We've got some of your, I believe yeah, you, yeah. You, you call these are they these casual pieces? Yeah, that's when I have a bit left uh, over clay. Yes. And I do just a mouse. We you do know, a mouse. A mouse. <laughs> so I'm I'm very well known for making my mice. Your mice. And they <laughs> yeah. do look amazing. Um, these are very, very cool. And they're all mm-hmm. very interesting characters as well. Mm-hmm. We've got uh, Bart Simpson, mm-hmm. uh, Marge, Superman, Einstein, <laughs> Spock, um, uh, Frida Kahlo. I remember <laughs> that one. Um, but then this is obviously sort of the more playful side. Yeah, yeah. But then we've got this, and I have to say, this is a mm-hmm. be- absolutely beautiful piece. Oh, um, the, the wide camera mm-hmm. will pick this up absolutely stunningly. Mm-hmm. Um, talk me a little bit about through a piece like this mm-hmm. how long does it take to go from initial mm-hmm. inception mm-hmm. through to its completion mm-hmm. you know was mm-hmm. it a quick process was it mm-hmm. something that you were just like ah! and you yeah. had to step away from yeah. how, how was it for you yeah um actually the 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 project phase is the most interesting phase you know that's yeah. oh you have so many ideas and oh i could do that and what 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 can you use it f- to make it happen and yeah and that's a long process because you have to yeah you have to get inspiration yeah and then you think it over, you, you make your own, you know, you try it out. Usually yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like you think. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a problem somewhere on the way, you know, and you have to get over that. And then, yeah, you just, that's a long phase. How long from mm-hmm. start to finish would this yeah, piece have cool. taken? Oh, is this, like a, year, is this like a six-month project, year-long project? Um, no, it's not a year long because you you maybe have an ID, then you leave it rest, yeah. then you come back. You oh, I could do that, okay. and yep. and then you do the base, you know, and then you I experimented with that. It's not so much concrete in because concrete is not a good footprint. Okay. In the world, right? Yes. So I try to get it light, so as less possible concrete as possible. Right. Okay. Makes so, sense. but then it makes uh, it's a trial and error, you know. Yep. It can break or it can look sh- shitty. It can, it can look shitty. Swearing's allowed here. You're Sorry. fine. Go for it. No, no. Swear to your heart. It's coming out. <laughs> Shitty's a word. Just let it flow. <laughs> let it flow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then you you have to do. Um, ask my friends what do you think what and um, my friends are much better in the engineer concept you know I'm okay. very, yep. that's a bit a weak point with me i'm not an engineer yep so um that the um, realization of the the putting together and things like sure. that and the static statistic uh, statics 
statics. Static. Um, that's a problem sometimes. Right. I mean. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get quicker. You the more you make, the quicker you get, oh, and the more perfect you get. You know. <laughs> yeah. Practice makes perfect, right? Yeah. 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 And um, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's mm -hmm. with every creative mm -hmm. expression. The mm -hmm. more you mm -hmm. do something, the mm -hmm. better you get at it. Yeah. But the thing is, when you repair, also, you're never perfect, you know. But when when you 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 are good at it, yeah, I lose the a little bit the uh, the interest, okay, you know. Okay. So uh, then a new project must come on. Do you are you someone that go? Are mm -hmm. you someone that go thinks I will do one project until it's finished, mm -hmm. or I will do one project until I get bored and then move on to another project and then another project and mm -hmm. I might revisit the first project? Yeah. Is this something that you would sort of go? I'll work on it a little bit, mm -hmm. then start something else. Yeah, I have different you projects. You have different projects going. on the go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, because mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. this gives off very Aztec vibes. Mm -hmm. This is actually the imprint is from an old lamp, or uh, from a lamp. A lamp. A lamp. Yeah, I I always take it out uh, when I That's throw brilliant. throw out something. It's a heat heat transformer, I think. Oh they wow! They used it. I don't. Yeah, they, it's in a in a lamp. So I, yeah. I I get it out and see. Before I throw something out, I look what I can use in art. Yeah. So that That's was amazing. a cre <laughs> was, was a cool stamp. Yes. So I use that. I, I would look at that and go, yes, mm -hmm. that gives me Aztec or, <laughs> yeah. or Incan vibes. Yeah, something that's true. From, that's yeah, true. Yeah, something yeah. Er, very something. early South American. Oh, yeah. <laughs> something that uh, Indiana Jones might search for in a lost quest. <laughs> That's very. I yeah, mean, that, that is true. very cool. It, yeah, it yeah. does look amazing, mm -hmm. and it's a mm -hmm. it's a real contrast. Yeah, it is between mm -hmm. these ones as mm -hmm. well, which mm -hmm. is very very cool. Mm -hmm. Northern Artists Conversation are incredibly proud to support the Quarry Arts Centre. Quarry Arts Centre, amazing place, uh, located on Selwyn Ave in Whangarei. Um, such a wonderfully beautiful venue. Um, they are a, an art gallery and they have some amazing exhibitions and they also hold um, Te Kōwhai Print Trust as well. Um, another really, really cool um, artistic endeavour uh, that's done as well. Um, they will have different exhibitions and shows of all different types of uh, medium available as well and they're such a, a long-standing uh, venue in the community as well. Um, highly recommend you checking them out. Fantastic place. Uh, really, really cool to take the uh, the kids and family as well. So, um, North of Nars Conversation, proud to support the Quarry Arts Centre. Big question for you. Mm -hmm. Your first exhibition mm -hmm. that you had in mm -hmm. New Zealand. Mm -hmm. As a lot a lot of artists, I think mm -hmm. it's fair to say, mm -hmm. can be quite shy. Oh yeah. How mm -hmm. was your first exhibition mm -hmm. and what was in it? I think it was a piece, um it was a, a group exhibition for from the Pottery Club. Well, oh, that, that, that's Just quite the safe. The Firebird. Yeah, yeah, it's safe. Yeah, Very it was safe. only one. You're, you're piece one of a number of <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, you feel totally unsure. You know. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I I still struggling with some things I do and think mm, not sure. You know, but really? it's getting better and better. And yeah. and I have a lot of help from my friends. Mm -hmm. They are supporting me. Totally good and yeah, it's a process. I think yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. How many exhibitions would you say you've done now? A few. I mean, you you know, do you do one I a do, year? Uh, mostly, mostly. I I haven't had a solo exhibition. I oh, usually, you haven't? No, I okay. just do. Um, you know the. Um, um, Group exhibitions. Group exhibition or? at the qu quarry art. I had yep. these, those, and um, you know, I just um, or I have things at Burning Issue. Right. Yes. So yes, things like that. So now, I haven't had a solo exhibition. Burning Issue mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. art gallery in next to Hundert Wasser. Next to the Hundert yeah, Wasser. Yeah, 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 there yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I have an interesting question mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. What do you think is holding you back from having 
your own solo exhibition. Mm-hmm. We ask the tough questions here. <laughs> yeah. We do sometimes. Sometimes yeah, we're yeah. idiots, but sometimes oh, we actually ask good know. questions. <laughs> I, I have always the fear, because we, we kind of retired with 40. You know, okay. uh, we, we didn't want to work uh, our whole life. We yes. say we have to have a good balance between fun yes. and, and um, yeah, life, you right. know. <laughs> so, Absolutely. <laughs> or, you know, the things we need. Yeah. And um, I'm always a bit fearful that I fell, fell back to this working mode, you know, that I have too much work. Right. Uh, to... Um, looking the fun in my life it should be balanced right okay so you don't you don't want your creativity yeah. to become your job yeah yeah that's okay. that's that's a, one thing and and i think i have a good balance at the moment awesome so with a few things um yep. um they are going great and a new project for me i'm working on and Ooh. also gardening you know yes. and everything fun and I have a good balance, but if I have uh, like more work in that, maybe if I do a, a whole exhibition, I have to do more work, more work. So right. I think that would be maybe a bit too much on the work side. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. Look, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, it's yeah, yeah. it's not, mm-hmm. you're not doing it to fund a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You're doing it mm-hmm. out of joy and pleasure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Passion. Passion. It's passion. Great really. choice of <laughs> yeah. words. It's the best choice of word, actually. Yeah. It's the one I should have used, damn it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> damn it. Um, yeah. So if you've done mm-hmm. a few different exhibitions at the moment, have mm-hmm. you got anything that's out? Yeah, at the moment uh, we have um, in Hikurangi, we have a studio of 53. Yes. That's a pop-up exhibition from Virginia Gay. Yeah. And uh, I have a few pieces in there. Nice. So for three weeks, it's a pop-up exhibition, and it's great, great um, variety there. Yeah. Photography, what? pottery, textile art. Oh wow! Uh, you should have <clears throat> a go and have a look. It's yeah, definitely. F- total fantastic. I I felt a bit cheated this year. They had yeah. the, so obviously this is being mm-hmm. filmed on Easter Monday. Mm-hmm. Um, and they've mm-hmm. had the Whangarei Arts Trail oh, yeah. over mm-hmm. the weekend. Mm-hmm. And, and I didn't get the opportunity to go this mm-hmm. this year. Mm-hmm. So a bit, bit disappointed. One of, my, one of the former podcast mm-hmm. guests, um, Ash Ellis, mm-hmm. was exhibiting oh, okay, yeah. um, out there. And I really wanted mm-hmm. to go out and mm-hmm. support the artists. Mm-hmm. But I just I was mm-hmm. too busy with work. Yeah. Too busy with uh, podcast stuff. <laughs> yeah. Damn you, podcast stuff. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah uh, you know, I, mm-hmm. I do pop out to Hikarangi. It's quite mm-hmm. close from here as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's uh, open from um, Wednesday to Sunday. Wednesday to Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Ten I can go on the three. Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh-huh. So as someone mm-hmm. who I guess started off playing with clay-like substance and then moved into homeopathy mm-hmm. natural mm-hmm. naturopathy mm-hmm. Natu- mm-hmm. Natu- natu- Naturopath- naturopathy naturopathy that doesn't <laughs> feel like know. a word no i always struggle with um, that word naturopathy <laughs> producer andrew what <laughs> Na- naturopathy or naturopathy it's nat- you're a naturopath. You're a naturopath. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, go with yeah, that one. Yeah, 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 and then yeah, yeah, coming yeah. Mm-hmm. back full circle and finding mm-hmm. um, your passion, mm-hmm. your word, mm-hmm. your passion mm-hmm. for um, the clay. Mm-hmm. Where do you draw your inspirations from? Because these oh. these two are fundamentally very different pieces. <laughs> yeah. Very, very different. We've got yeah, yeah. light. Yeah. And then we've got. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm still blown away. I think that's incredibly beautiful. But oh, thank you. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Um, so, where do you find your mm-hmm. passion from, mm-hmm. and where do you draw your inspiration mm-hmm. from? Because you said it mm-hmm. starts with an idea. Yeah, I get inspiration everywhere. You know, you go to the library, and then I get a kids book out, or or I see something, or or everywhere I go. You know, I just like I have an eye for art. Okay, okay. Like uh, people who, who are pregnant, they see all these pregnant women around, you know. <laughs> so I think yeah. it's um, just what you want to see, you see. Okay, that makes sense. And and my friends, 
we have a lot of, of um, um, inspiration from friends, also from the media, uh, social media, you know, yeah, Pinterest. Okay. Uh, everywhere, you know, you get this inspiration from. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. sort of find mm -hmm. any artists that you gravitate towards that mm -hmm. you have a, an interest in or mm -hmm. and you kind of follow their work? Yeah, different. Yeah. yeah. I thought, yeah. There's so many around, you know. Yeah, there are. And, and just, just sometimes it's just too much. Okay, right. So now I, I have so many ideas, I can't sleep at night because it's so much overload of the creativity coming yeah, in. Yeah, and the brain's always... Yeah, the all brain's always working, yeah. you know, for the next project. And and I had to say, oh, I have to make a break for two weeks, you know. I oh, can't wow. I can't sleep anymore because yeah. I, I'm so overloaded with cre creative ideas. Yeah. And then I can't focus anymore which one I want to do. Okay. Because I have tons of ideas and yep. I then I'm blocked. Which one do I do now? That that, that leads me to my mm -hmm. next question. Mm -hmm. How do you mm -hmm. pick mm -hmm. your next idea? If you've got mm -hmm. 10 ideas, yeah. how do yeah. you know mm -hmm. that idea number four <laughs> is better than idea number seven, for example? Yeah, I just go in the studio and then I start one. And that's I it. Then, then I start one and then I stuck with that project. Yeah. And the other ones I might forget and come back later on. Or Sometimes you know, yeah, it's hard. I forget and then you think, oh, it's an old one. I do, I'm not interested in it anymore, yeah. you know. So that does happen. Mm -hmm. So do you, are there mm -hmm. any projects that you've got at home where mm -hmm. you started them with the mm -hmm. best of intentions mm -hmm. and then you've mm -hmm. gone... <laughs> yes. That's down the bottom of the pile there. Yes. Something's happened. <laughs> yes, because then maybe a, a problem comes up, you yeah. know, a technical problem. Yeah. I have got these uh, glass shelves at home, okay. big ones, you know, and um, now I'm not sure if I can use them because I don't know if there are safety glass for oh, outside. Oh, right. So I, I always right. get stuck on on that project the engineering you know? side yeah, of yeah, things yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. wow mm -hmm. okay that's mm -hmm. a challenging problem to have though yeah i don't know how to solve it i must ask somebody who knows about glass now if it's uh, safe to use in the garden otherwise you know it can be um uh accident happen or yeah. you know with with glass mm. So I don't know what I do with them, and yeah, it drags you a bit down, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <And think>, oh. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so how many projects are mm -hmm. you working on mm -hmm. at the moment? Ooh. And it, f well, it feels like a really good question because, as yeah, you yeah. said, you've got yeah, yeah. different projects yeah. at different maybe stages, five? right? Five. five, yeah. Wow. But then it's maybe a smaller project, you know. I can do that. Okay. And then it's not a, such a big project. I do. I just uh, have a new glaze, for example. I want to experiment with that new glaze. Ah. And okay. with different types of clay. Yeah. Different firings. Yeah. Do you do? Do you have a, a kiln at home? Mm -hmm. You have a kiln at mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. That's a luxury. Ah, oh, that's the best. W one of the two best. Um, Decisions I made. <laughs> you have a kiln at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're they're not yeah. cheap. They're not cheap, and I I um, thought about it for about two years. Okay. Because um, when I did other mediums, I lost a bit the uh, interest. Sure, sure. And I had to be sure that I don't lose interest when I buy uh, such a expensive kiln. Well, yeah, that was going to be mm -hmm. my next question. Yeah. Is you, yeah, you, yeah. you buy a kiln. Mm -hmm. at, now, they what price range do they range from? I'm not going to ask you how much you pay yeah, for yours, yeah. but mm -hmm. what's the price range of a kiln? Just to put um, it into perspective. What are we talking, like a few, maybe, few thousand? Huh? Are we talking like a few thousand? Mm -hmm. Are we talking yeah, tens yeah, of yeah, thousands? Yeah, yeah, 6,000 was mine. Okay, wow. But, okay. but now it's much more because for COVID, for transporting yep. here yeah. and... Yeah, uh, I, I I bought it in the right time. Okay, pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. Yeah, so I mean, mm -hmm. six grand, that's a, a, a good yeah. gaming computer mm -hmm. for some people. Yeah, it's a lot of money for... Already. That thing was six grand. <laughs> this would be great. Yeah. <laughs> that, our computer's a six grand computer, yeah. producer Andrew. 
It's a lot of money for retired people. <laughs> yes, it is. I think it's a lot of money for people in general. <laughs> in general. It scared the shit out of me when I made that purchase. <laughs> So I have to say, I have to say, my father also gave me a little bit. Oh, that's it. nice. Yeah. That's very cool. So, yeah, yeah. are the parents now supportive of your artistic expression? Very much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So they, they were always now. Now they think now. it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, to to have an artist daughter. <laughs> right, because obviously they sort of steered you more down the yeah town yeah academic. yeah 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 academic <laughs> yeah. Yeah, More. leave the creativity, mm. focus on the academic. Yeah, yeah, but now they're no. like, let's do the creative. Yeah, 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 academic yeah. can wait. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's yeah. very cool. Because they see I'm so happy, you know. Yeah, yeah. That, so they, they, they are kind of proud, I think. Very cool. Mm -hmm. That is very, very mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> proud parents. <laughs> and you know what they should be, too? Any, I think mm -hmm. anyone that... How do I, how do I say this? Any person mm -hmm. that is creative in any way mm -hmm. and is brave enough mm -hmm. to put their creation mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. into the world mm -hmm. to be judged, mm -hmm. um, family should be proud mm -hmm. in general because yeah, it's yeah. not easy. No, no, totally not. And when you're yeah, starting, yeah. it's even harder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because when yeah, you yeah. start and you put your first piece mm -hmm. out, mm -hmm. you go, well, here we go. Nice words would be good right about now. And, and you go to your yeah, friends, yeah, yeah, say yeah, something yeah. nice. You go oh, to your yeah, parents, yeah, say yeah. something oh, nice. They do, they do always, you know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you are unsure and, you yeah. know. And it's a piece of yourself, you, Definitely. you know. And you put it out there and... Yeah. I, I remember mm -hmm. the very mm -hmm. first... So I'll, I'll share you a little bit about mm -hmm. mine. I used to sing in a band. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it singing. Mm -hmm. If you've ever seen the TV show Sesame Street, uh, I was Cookie Monster. <laughs> <laughs> vocals over really angry music. So, I heard a song of yours. Wait, what? I heard a song of oh, yours. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I thought I wouldn't listen it there at night. There, wow. <laughs> alone, oh, home shit. alone. Home it would alone, be creepy. To scary music. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, but cool. I remember when mm. we when we put our very first mm. song out, we put mm. it out on MySpace, which shows my mm -hmm. age. Mm -hmm. um, I remember a, mm -hmm. I remember I was so proud of it. Mm -hmm. I called up a family member mm -hmm. and I said, you have to go check out my MySpace oh, yeah, page. Yeah. I've got music on there. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've ever sung anything mm -hmm. and I'm super proud wow. of it. And then they listened to mm -hmm. it. They called me back mm -hmm. five minutes later and they mm -hmm. said, Mark, what happened? Mm -hmm. You were such a happy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, Thanks. <laughs> don't know how to take. Don't know how to take that. But it doesn't sound positive. <laughs> <laughs> so support yeah, yeah. is key. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of support from my friends. Very good. I have to say. Yeah, that's cool, yeah, and yeah. that's such a great place to be. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you must. Mm -hmm. It must be such a good feeling for you to be surrounded mm -hmm. not only with mm -hmm. like-minded mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Um, you know, but when when Andrew and I started mm -hmm. this podcast, mm -hmm. we wanted to get. A completely different range mm -hmm. of artists. Mm -hmm. the, the Northland artistic mm -hmm. community as a whole to be supportive. Mm -hmm. That must feel mm -hmm. satisfying. Yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. I I think it's the right environment here. Yeah. You know, we travel now uh, to Cambridge, and I didn't have that feel of you know. We we visited friends in Cambridge, and yeah. I think the, the, it's not that vibe. There's lots of horses down there. Yeah, I think it's not that artistic vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Great if yeah. you like show jumping. Maybe not so much if yeah, you like creating. I'm scared of horses, so right. I don't know how how to <laughs> approach them. It's not my world. Probably not the right place for you. No. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah. Now, other than um, the exhibition at Hakaranya that you've mm -hmm. got at the moment, mm -hmm. have you got anything coming up that people should know about? Mm. This is going to be your opportunity. Yeah. Um, I just like to promote a little bit my website. Oh yes, go on then. Because I was, it was really, really um, a project for me. I'm not really that tech tech knowledge sure, yep, yep. and then i i did during the covid i did my own website did you develop it yourself yeah that's very so, impressive but i really struggled and some some days i thought oh i can't i can't yeah. go on i don't know <laughs> and then i i, I feel like that started. most days <laughs> <laughs> producer andrew's nodding his head as well 
<laughs> but I got through. I stuck yes. through, Excellent. and I, I'm really proud that it looks really good website. So, so what um, is the website address? Um, Gabriella's Art Paradise. Now that's Gabriella with one L, not two. One L and the S. Gabriella's. So Art Gabriella's Paradise. plural Art yeah, Paradise. Yeah, yeah. Dot uh-huh. com. Dot co. Dot nz. Yeah. Dot com. Dot com. Nice. I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's your website. <laughs> it's let's let's, let's just check my little visit quickly, card. <laughs> quickly check. Um, <laughs> no, no, dot com. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's dot yeah, com. Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And are you mm-hmm. on any social media as well? Yeah, I am. Instagram and Facebook. Okay, nice. Yeah. I, I try to be onto it. Uh, I have to say there is some some gaps sometimes uh, when I don't po- post something. Are, we, are you talking like weeks where you don't post, or days, or months? Maybe fair to be fair. Maybe weeks. Okay, we- weeks is okay. <laughs> okay. Weeks is okay. Months not probably months. not so much. No, yeah. not months. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, that is yeah. absolutely brilliant. Mm-hmm. Um, look, mm-hmm. Gabriella, mm-hmm. thank you so mm-hmm. much for coming in, um, thank sitting you down too. with us. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I I speak for mm-hmm. uh, speak for producer Andrew. This this has been mm-hmm. a hoot. It's been an absolute laugh oh, a minute. Thank you. It's been so good, and I do really like that. I think, uh, guys, <laughs> if, uh, if you're watching uh, the podcast on YouTube, mm-hmm. um, this piece of art um, is absolutely stunning. Um, oh. And if you're listening to it. Um, it's like a <sighs> big donut. Yeah, they um, say donut. On a uh, concrete block mm-hmm. um, with... Uh, it's just, it's just, it, it looks like a trophy for... It looks uh, like a trophy mm-hmm. for donut Greatest eating. Greatest donut ever. Greatest donut ever. Donut. Um, look, if, you're, if you're listening to this, mm-hmm. have a look on our mm-hmm. Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Um, have a look on our Instagram. There will be a photo mm-hmm. with this in... Um, again, Gabriella, thank you so much oh, for coming. I really too. do appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. It was fun. <laughs> well, there you go, everyone. Gabriella uh, Weber Oswald, um, super amazing, super amazing. Um, you know, we 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 do these, uh, we do the introductions, and then we do the outros, uh, kind of after we've had the guest in. That's a little bit. Of a little bit of a peek behind the door there. Um, so what we do is, uh, you know, beforehand we sit down with the guest, we have a bit of a talk, um, usually to try and alleviate any nerves that might be there, get them to feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, if they've got any questions, it gives me an opportunity to answer them. Um, and then we sort of come into the studio. We'll go through a little bit of the technical stuff about what's going to happen. Uh, and then we kind of just get into it. Um, and then... We have the new segment that we started earlier in the year, Rapid Fire. So we'll do the main podcast first. We'll do Rapid Fire. Um, the guest will then leave. You know, we appreciate everyone's time, so we don't we don't want to um, take up too much of it. So the guest will then leave. Um, I'll then sit here and do an introduction and an outro, um, almost like back to back. But you know, I, I sit here today um, as your your host and. And I'm once again floored as to how lucky we are to have some of our guests. I'm going to go to my camera. Gabriella was super cool. A little bit nervous when I first met her, which was at Artbeat uh, a few weeks ago. I think put on by Creative Northland. Um, And she was super nervous. And Wendy Cunliffe, who had been on the podcast uh, last year, she was very supportive and was like, you should do it. You'd enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And then um, Wendy also convinced her husband Rob to uh, come on as well. So it's been um, it's been great. But with with Gabriella, she came in, sat down. We literally just shot the shit for an hour, hour and a bit, and it was amazing. She is super cool. She was a laugh a minute, and you know, I I didn't really know what to expect, and she just made me crack up the whole time. It was so cool. So she's uh, a, an absolute podcast that is well worth watching or listening to. So, where can you find this amazing revelatory podcast? Well, here we go. So, if you're uh, for the visuals, um, you'll find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. All North and Artist Conversation. For audio, you'll find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Again, Northland Artist Conversation. And if you are an artist, or you know anyone that has a creative expression that you think would be amazing on our show, we would love to hear from you. So please feel free to reach out to us. 
by going and email hello at northernartistconversation.co. .nz. Nice and simple. We also have a Patreon page as well. Now, Patreon is where uh, you can support us uh, a little bit more. Um, you can go in, you can log in, create an account, and you can um, donate, basically. Um, and we have two tiers. We have the $5 tier, which is called a cup of coffee. Um, and that uh, is just a way of saying, hey, look, we appreciate what you do. Thanks very much. It's, it's amazing. We, we love that tier. But we also have a second tier as well, which we've lovingly called Coffee Addict. Uh, and Coffee Addict is 20 bucks a month. And what that gives you is it gives you a couple of extra bonuses that you don't normally get. First one is we will give you a shout out on this podcast. And we've got some shout outs to give. Second thing is it will we will let you know in advance who is coming out. So that way, you if you have a question you want to ask, the guest we will ask it on your behalf and uh, we can go about things and do them that way so where can you find us there's two ways you can go to uh, google uh, go uh, patreon that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n create an account on the top right hand corner and then search for north and artist conversation that's one way nice and easy the easier way is to go www.patreon.com forward slash north and artist conversation that's it. We've tried to keep everything as simple as possible, as uh, succinct. So that way, you know, if you get into a platform, you can just type North and Ours Conversation and boom, you can find us. Um, please remember to follow us on our social media, like our, um, like the stuff we do, like, share and subscribe. Um, leave a comment uh, on Apple Mu- on the Apple Podcast as well. Um, all of these little things really do help us. They push the algorithm. They get us more to the forefront. Um, we celebrated a milestone recently. It's a very small milestone, um, but it's a milestone I'm very proud of nonetheless. We officially hit 100, uh, 100 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you very much. Doesn't seem like a big number, but for a podcast that is focused in the artistic area of the Northland region of New Zealand in the southern hemisphere of the world, it's awfully niche. Um, really, really stoked and really proud of that. So if you are a subscriber, look, thank you from the, the bottom of our hearts. We really do appreciate it. We we couldn't do any of this without you guys. Um, and, you know, we've, we, we get good numbers with the uh, audio as well. Um, and we keep getting a lot of new followers with Facebook and Instagram. So, guys, thank you very much. Remember to like, share, subscribe, as the young kids say. Um, you know, follow us on all the socials. And... Um, I guess, yeah, that's really about it. I'm going to throw it in my white camera now. Do a bit of a wrap-up, really. The one takeaway I got from this podcast was you never know what you're going to get when someone sits in that chair. That's the big thing. We always talk about how we are learning things about our guests, and I learned a lot today. I learned, I didn't, Producer Andrew, I had no idea how small Switzerland actually was, and they're not just known for their banking and their chocolate, um, but, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where um, the the Alps and the glaciers and the fjords and all of the beautiful areas, you take that land into consideration, which is pretty much uninhabitable, um, that's a really small thing for somewhere that's twice the population density of the size of New Zealand. Go figure. It's crazy. Blew my mind. Blew my mind. Anyway, my name has been Mark Kelly. You guys have been amazing. Thank you very much for watching the Northern Artist Conversation, and we will see you guys real soon.